Welcome back to the channel, my name is Mad Dog Games, and this is the next episode in my step by step series. I'll be breaking down everything down by steps or by parts, so I can make it super and simple for you guys to do. Now in today's video, we're going to be learning how to do an effective combo for Scorpion. Our main combo uses one offensive meter, and it's a mid screen combo. We have a lot of things to cover here, so here's what we're going to be doing throughout the video. But before we get started, I have to mention a couple of things. First, you can find more videos like this in the description down below, as well as other videos and playlists that you might be interested in. This is the 16th episode in the series, and be sure to stick around because at the end of the video, I'll be announcing the next character that I'll be working on. Anyways, to be able to perform this combo, this is the variation that you'll need. Anyways, with that being said, let us start off with round 1. The first thing you want to do for part 1 is hack and slash into Hellport, which is 432, cancel into down back 3 amplify. Next for part 2, now you want to add flip kick, which is forward 3. Part 3, now you want to add the damned, which is 1 1. Part 4, now you want to add Spear, which is back forward 1. Round 2, Bonus Tips and Tricks. In this part of the video, we're going to be talking about mistakes, other alternative combos, and strategies for using this combo. For someone that is picking up Scorpion for the first time, the first common mistake I can see that can happen is not knowing how to cancel into certain attacks. For example, in part 1, doing hack and slash and having to cancel into Hellpour sounds tricky, but in all honesty, it's not. Scorpion is very forgiving and one of the easiest characters to do any cancels with. You want to start by pressing down back 3 once you notice the overhead landed on your opponent. Interrupting the animation of the first attack and then going into another attack is known as a cancel. Inputting the attack late will not register the attack correctly and this will happen. The next mistake I can see beginners making is relying on this combo starter for pressure and damage. Try not to make yourself predictable. If you use this combo all the time, your teleport after 432 will get countered and punished. As Scorpion, your game plan is to be at mid to close range and approach your opponent in many ways by zoning, grabbing, poking, setups, punishes, and other types of pressure. That way, it keeps your opponent on their toes. Scorpion plays more effective at neutral even though he seems to be comfortable in all ranges. Alternative Combos Here I'll show you some similar combos we have. The first one will be an easier alternative if you found the main combo a little challenging. As for the rest of the combos in this section, I'll be showing you the universal combos, wake up combos, and mid screen combos using other variations. A little bit of everything to get you ready. Let's now take a look at some corner combos. Here are some combos I would recommend using. Combo strategy. You can end your combos with Torment 1-1-2 to knock your opponent hard on the ground next to you. There are a couple of reasons why you would want to end the combo this way. First one would be wanting to set up for your next pressure. 
Positioning is very important if you want to take the advantage. The second reason for using Torment would be wanting to bait out your opponent's resources early so that you have the advantage later on. It's a gamble, but this could give you an opportunity for a punish. There are a couple of options you can do to punish. If they decide to wake up, you can punish with your fast attack. If they decide to roll forwards, you can grab to punish it. If they decide to roll backwards, you can use your long range low attack to punish. These are just some of the strategies you can use to optimize Scorpion's gameplay. Sometimes as Scorpion, you want to deal guaranteed damage to your opponent, especially at high level. One thing to keep in mind is that Scorpion does offer combos that are unbreakable, which means your opponent can't use breakaway. Here are some setups that you can use. Scorpion's forward 3 is a great stagger tool, a must use attack to pressure your opponent with. It's negative 2 on block, which is safe and recovers pretty fast. Most veteran players would use forward 3 into grab to deal guaranteed damage to a blocked opponent. Round 3, finish them. In this section, we're going to learn essential information and tools to finish your opponent off, such as learning Scorpion's 2 bar combos, crushing blow combos, fatal blow combos, and character overview. 2 bar combos. Scorpion is another character that is okay using two offensive meters, because his ability to squeeze more damage is great. With that, here are his two bar combos. Crushing Blow The first requirement to trigger this first crushing blow is by punishing or countering your opponent by uppercutting. The requirement to trigger the second crushing blow is using Amplified Spear at full screen. The requirement to trigger this third one is by countering or punishing your opponent using Falling Ashes. The requirement to trigger this last one is by having a combo of 8 or more hits. Fatal Blow To be able to perform these Fatal Blow combos, you must have your health at 30% or less than 30% health. Character Overview Now let us take a look at all the things Scorpion offers. His variations does not change his playstyle that much, but does add tools in its already neutral based playstyle. Variation 1 gives you tools like Heliport Cancel and Demon Slam for more mind games, mix-ups for his teleport, and improves his punish game. Variation 2 gives you Death Spin, Death Spear Combo, and Burning Spear, which currently is his best variation because you can get more damage out of his combos. He has chip damage attacks, two additional spear attacks, and new combo enders. Variation 3 gives him Misery Blade and Sin Blade, which allows him more ways to attack in neutral. Now let us talk about the pros and cons or strengths and weaknesses for playing Scorpion. Scorpion has decent damaging combos without relying on crushing blows and two bar meters. Offers practical crushing blows, which is great, good mix-ups and pressure options, easy execution, and comfortable at any range. Now for the cons for playing Scorpion. Scorpion is meter reliant. You'll notice if you want to get stuff done, you will often use two offensive meters for a lot of your combos and setups. Also, Scorpion tools are somewhat risky. For example, his best tool, Teleport, is very punishable. Weak against faster characters, and being average in everything can be a strength and a weakness. Yes, it's good that you have tools to fight off any characters, but that means your tools can be exploited by characters that are faster, stronger, or have more powerful tools. 
Anyways, be sure to subscribe and hit the bell icon because in the next video for the series, we'll be covering the new DLC characters like Fujin, Shiva, or Robocop, and talking about how to pick your main in Mortal Kombat 11. Remember to like this video if you found this helpful, and I'll see you guys next time.